Hello everybody, and welcome back to Dungeons & Dragons The Second Age. How are we all? Pretty oh, good. good. Pretty good. Excellente. Uh, remind you guys of the time limit. What? Disappear Ooh. randomly, like last week. Oh, oh yeah, oh, we don't right. want you to... Yeah. Well, there was something like that we didn't have any weeks before. Anyway. Yeah, no. no. I was too we... absorbed in the role playing and forgot yes. to mention that I had to go. That you Ka die. Cav has that you since die. been brought up to speed with what he missed, so it's all fine. You didn't miss that much, to be fair. No. Yeah. Um. So yes. Who would care to remind me of what happened last time? Disaster. <laughs> it wasn't a disaster. Well, no death saving throws were made. Yeah. Well, not by you. Well, not by well, us. Not, well, not by not our that. group. Yeah, that's true. No. <laughs> okay. Well, I guess I, I do it just basically every week, so. Um. Well, we started out at the cage fighting, because that's where we left off with Arya being unconscious and Grim about to face off with Lionheart, which was like the, the champion from the ring. And, uh,. Grim actually won against Lionheart. He had like what, like eight HP left. Yep. It was it, it was a pretty awesome fight. Um, and then we sort of regrouped, and then uh, we got approached by some dudes, and they were just like, "Hey, the owner wants to. The owner of this like cage, underground cage fighting bullshit wants to like, speak with the winner and also the Dragonborn." So off Kalaris and Grim went. I. Probably could have followed, but I was just like, I'm not leaving Arya alone in this shithole. Especially not when you she's unconscious. later or... anyway! What? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh... We'll get there. Anyway. So, uh, Kalaris and Grim went up there, and they basically were questioned by Temerity, or Ori. Um, and she was just like, oh, why are you guys here? And also, my colleague has gone missing, and you're suspicious as hell. And then Grim rolled a natural one on Deception, so they got a whole lot of cross the crossbows uh, aimed at their heads. Uh, and yeah, then they basically ha were like, I don't know, like, I wouldn't say handcuffed. They have probably had their like hands tied behind their backs yeah. or something. They were restrained and blindfolded. Yeah, and blindfolded. And they were basically being uh, sort of led outside by, by the bad guys. And I rolled, rolled a natural one on perception, so it's not like V saw that it happened or anything. Uh, but they also sent this guy to go kill Arya, and then there was this whole shenanigan where V had to, like, sleep those guys and use an invisibility scroll and and just, like, pick up Arya and run and then drop Arya outside and then run yep. harder and just, it was a mess. And I was just laying in an alley for, like, a good two and a half hours of the start of the session last time. It wasn't two and a half hours! It was a long time. It was not a long time. It was, like, it was, like, it was like 20 minutes at most. I immediately went to get to get Vandal, and then we went to find you. Yeah, it, in in real world time, it was more it was some something along the lines of twenty minutes. In in game terms, it took you a little bit longer. But... Yeah. Um. Yeah. So we then then we went to find Vandal uh, and Lyra, and then Lyra found Arya, and then those two basically tracked Grim and Clarice, and then we had to get those guys, and then we. Bolted it the fuck out of there because, like, those who didn't have any weapons or anything. Um. Fine, we're gonna punch people in the face. I mean, if you wanted to try. <laughs> Grim had his bone shiv. <laughs> we had the bone shiv. Not gonna bone oh, shiv people. Aww. Oh, God. Um. But yeah, Grim and Clars had actually heard something about the asylum, which we now think is where people are being sort of quote unquote converted, brainwashed uh, to be cultists of. There is Dune. Uh, and we also went to the mansion. Wait. Oh yeah, because... Wait, hold on. <laughs> Missed the stage. It's all so confusing! A lot happened last you week. And, you and... We went, we went out of town. Yeah. We discussed... V and Arya. We tried yeah. to discuss our options, and then V and Arya went undercover mode back to Temerity's shop to see what they could find out. And yeah. I made possibly the best Deception roll of my entire life. <laughs> oh my <God. laughs> Pretty good. Yeah. With quite possibly the worst response, which made it ten times better. 
we're we're uh, window cleaners. Anyway. We were cleaning the windows. <laughs> we're so cleaning clean. the windows. Uh, yeah, so we went to Meredith's shop, we found some shit, uh, we then went to a mansion where we found a, a whole a whole party of bad guys, and we killed most of them. And there are a few who are still unconscious. Yes. And, oops. Oh, that, that was a long, hours. long recap. Yes. Yeah. We had a lot of shit happen. Yeah, we're and, back um, in the present. Oh my god. Yeah, <laughs> basically... In oh, I didn't drag that up. Inside the manor is where you find yourselves, and it is basically up to you guys to decide what you want to do. Because the very last thing that you did is you rifled basically through all of the things you could find and found a whole bunch of loot on the various people, and presumably confiscated weapons. Have we added that to our inventories yet? Uh, no, uh, we for, I have the list of items, but I, we did not actually... Yeah, would you like to refresh our memories on exactly what it is that you have? Okay, we found three, uh, three gems, uh, long, oval, thin, uh, about the size of uh, Pete's index finger. Oh uh, yeah, worth... my index Very finger. Very specific. Yeah. Yep, uh, about 100 gold each. Um, three amethysts, to be precise. Yep, amethysts. Uh, and then just 100 gold in cash. Um, a small bag of diamonds uh, worth 300 gold. Um, a silver silver raven statue. We weren't quite sure what that was oh, yeah. about. Yes. <laughs> um, book of uh, shadows that belong to uh, Temerity. And a locker was a piece of paper. Uh, this picture of uh, a man and a tiefling woman, which presumably are her parents. Yeah, no, it, I... it was it was a child's drawing of a man, uh, a female tiefling, yeah. and two tiefling children. Ah, okay. Okay, oh, so one. yeah, we're giving the diamonds of Andal. <laughs> yeah, take them. All right, what am I adding to my inventory? A small bag uh, of diamonds worth three hundred gold. Which happens to be just enough for you to cast a river of eye. Um, who's gonna carry the, the gems? I like pretty things. Oh, yeah, <laughs> you can, well, you, you can have them. You, you get three amethysts. Uh, I should probably note that they're 100 gold each. Okay. Um, we'll just split the cash, 20 each. And okay. then the... Okay, 20, then... okay, 20 gold. Everyone adds 20 gold, I guess? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then somebody needs to take the the silver raven statue and work out what it does. I'll take it. Fuck it. We we don't know what like that's probably going to be important somehow. So I'll take it unless somebody else wants it. No, you can have it. Okay. <laughs> I think. I think somebody else wants it. Look, no, well, I'm good. I, you might want to identify what it does first. Yeah, we, we don't- we should probably have a look at it. That's Is it good magical? Point. Uh, it feels like it. Can I look at it? You may certainly take a look at it. Take a good look. Go V. Uh... Yeah, good looking. Uh -huh. <laughs> um... Yeah, it, it's, it appears to be enchanted, but you can't quite tell what it does. Awkward. Could I- would I know of anything like this? Like- Well, a... you could- you could give me a- a check to see if you can identify it, because you have a bonus identifying magic items, don't you? Yes. Uh, okay. And it's done, so it's 21. Sorry, say again? Uh, would I need to add an additional three sets? So oh, so that'll make it 21. Yes, okay, so I will show you what this does. Oh. Also, is Borthos dead? I'm pretty sure he's yes. dead. Yes. Yeah. Uh, rip. Temerity's not going to be happy about that. Cool. Nope. Nah. There you go, Grim. <laughs> Fairs, you shouldn't have been such a massive bitch. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Accurate, though. Used. Uh, I guess I'll just share this information with everyone. Cool, yeah. Uh, do you want to sort of, like, tell them roughly what it does, and I'll show them the sheet? Um, I'll just read it. The silver uh, statue of, of a raven can come a raven for up to 12 hours when its, uh, when its command word is spoken. Uh, once it's uh, once it has been used, it can be used 
It can't be used again until two days have passed. While in Raven form, the figurine allows you to cast a animal messenger spell on it at will. Uh, the creature returns to its figurine form when it reaches zero HP or the command word is spoken again. Huh. And the, the command word is um, Kaivan? Kaivan, yes. Kaivan. Hmm. Weird. So oh, basically, yeah. uh, it allows you to send a message to somebody who is a long distance away through the spell Animal Messenger. Hmm. Um, uh, I can actually show you what the spell Animal Messenger does. How handy! <laughs> How in, how handy indeed. Quick, let's send a message. <laughs> uh, hold on. I could just... Sheep with it on. Uh, but... mm -hmm. Everyone. Oh. Uh, yeah, basically... Uh... So you, so what the fuck you... is a Blu-ray? A type of bird, I think. Wait no, I, I don't know what it must. Be, it might. It must be a marine animal, I guess. I don't know. Oh my god! I yeah. Mean, um, can you, can you get rays to deliver messages? That sounds awesome. Uh, yeah. Well, it, it's any t any tiny creature, basically. Oh. I mean, oh, a really? blue ray is a type tiny of tiny creature, though. Yeah, I don't <laughs> think it's that. Somehow. I think it's more like as in stingray, blue ray. Yeah. No, no. but it, that wouldn't be tiny. But I also think it might be a typo. Yeah, I'm no, pretty sure it's not. supposed to be blue jay. <laughs> <laughs> but then, why would it also say bird? I don't know. Yeah, anyway, no, regardless, uh, yeah. Basically, you have uh, you have about half the effectiveness of this spell for free once every two days. Oh. So hmm. you can basically send a message to somebody twenty-five miles away uh, once every two days. Hmm. Oh. Fair hmm. Pretty handy. Great. It doesn't have to actually be able to return to us. No. Okay. Because then yeah, the, the person at the other end can just wait two days and then send it back. Ah, okay. Fair enough. But it's a it's a last ditch secret message. It's it's gonna it's probably gonna be useful. Also, should we um should we worry about maybe restraining our non on non-dead people, just in case they make a run for it. Uh, well, they yeah. they are basically both recovering from near fatal injuries, so they they're not going to be conscious unless you magically heal them for some time. So, well, yeah, I guess yeah. they're going to need like serious medical care, and even then, they're probably going to be quite wounded. They have the disadvantage of not being heroes quite like you. They don't heal quite the same. Mm. Well, I say we head off to the asylum as quickly as possible. We don't know where it is. Yeah, we do. You know that it's. You've been told that it's on the edge of town. You haven't asked anything more specific than that. No. Yeah, like there's a lot of edges well, of town. Uh, uh, it's, well, it's. You know, it's on the other side of the forest from town. I would assume you would find it. Well, we can. We have like the mayor's family in here. I assume they know the layouts of the area, like yeah. just a little bit. You have you haven't should... specifically asked for directions. You could. Well, we should probably uh, do that. Yeah. We should probably ask for directions. <laughs> Hi perhaps... guys, I know <laughs> fucked up all these people in your literal house, but we need directions. Yeah. Also, should we like escort them back into the? You might need to do something with these bodies, just like... Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, think, well, I think we should take them... I'd also like to point out that whilst you have decapitated the head of the serpent, there might be still some things that you need to sort of tidy up before yeah. Yeah. you can call mm. this a job well done. A lot of... I assume a lot of the sort of the mooks in the town will still be like showing their insignia and being like, oh, you can't do anything to me. So we probably need to yeah. tell the guard that. Yeah, they can. Yeah. Well, I think. Well, yeah, I think these guys need to go, go to, the barracks, so that we can I think be we'll... like. By the way, leaders, these are some of the leaders of the five talent. I feel oh, like we need a body outside somewhere. 
I feel like we need to find the mayor in order to help us with that because he was yeah. obviously held well just under threat of yeah. losing his family. Well, the question is, do we? We can't exactly. Well, this is the thing. We can't exactly take these guys through fucking town. Um, we could tie them up. A person with one, yeah, two people near death. One of them with only one arm. No, but what, <laughs> and what I'd say we do is we tie them up like real good, and uh, we just tell like ask these people to take care of them. And How about? Just... Or maybe maybe we should take care of them, and some of us should go and be like, by the uh, and speak request to speak with the mayor. But like it's gonna take. I don't, I don't feel like these two would be very capable of dealing of you know holding these two. Yeah, I'm not. Conf I wouldn't leave them just here either. We can't um, just leave them here. We some of us should look after them while some of us go wait, and speak with the mayor. It's gonna be hours before they like even come uh, become yeah, anywhere near but... conscious. I I better safe than sorry. Yeah. One I'm of sorry. them is a potent spellcaster. Remember. Yeah, but we've take. Oh, I guess taking the folks away isn't enough for everything. Yeah. If it doesn't have a material you don't component. know the full extent of her abilities. Exactly. We don't want to risk. We don't want to risk it. So some of us, some of us should look after these two, while some of us go and go and get the mayor, and inform him of the situation. Oh, and uh, I was wondering, do we want to look through uh, Timothy's shop? We can worry about that at a later time. Yeah. It's like. I was just thinking it would help us if we run yeah. into more encounters. We could almost uh, we'll we will almost we can almost certainly have a look around there at some point. But we go, for, but not right now. now. We'll have to do well, that. I, I would say we do so before we head to the asylum at least. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Hmm. And we and evidently Creed knows about it, so we should ask her when she's conscious. Uh well I... Well we should uh, ask both uh... of them. Um, I would like to, wait, I would like to address like the, I guess it's, it's the mayor's wife and daughter, I, sh I yes. assume? Yeah. Um, excuse me, would you know where we could find the asylum? Uh, yeah, the, the, the mayor's wife sort of, uh, because she's the one that you had the conversation with previously about it, she says it's, uh, yep. it's basically on the other side of the forest. If you cross through the forest and then climb up the, the hill, it's basically at the top of the hill. Okay. Thank you. Um, I, I assume there's no holding cell in the, the manor. Here, goodness, no. Yeah, I, I yeah. it was worth asking. <laughs> there is a cellar. Um, I... let's not raid these people's houses. No, it was not raiding. It was more like keeping these. If there was a spot to keep these people safely, even if we are watching over them, we still want to make sure we don't want to uh, take unnecessary risk. Basically, that's a fair point. Hmm. You could put them in the cellar, it's got a fairly sturdy door, I don't know if it'd be any good, but... Yeah. Well, we would have to keep an eye on them. Yeah. Their magic and stuff. Yeah, I mean, I don't think it really matters what kind mm. of door... <laughs> well, I guess I'll... I guess we'll leave that for the people who stay here. Um, I guess we're splitting up. Who's yeah. gonna do what? I can stay here. She pull any more spells. That's probably best. A counter spell is always useful. Um, I could always go to speak with the mayor. I'll stay here with uh, V, I guess. Um, wouldn't it, it, your stealth might be useful to like scope the stealth? We're not going to the asylum. Yeah. No, but like we don't know where uh, how they're holding the mayor, do we? And then I like look at the. <laughs> At the mayor's wife, do we? <laughs> yeah. it, it's mark? my understanding that he's just stationed in the town hall doing his duty as normal. <laughs> oh, yeah, dude. we don't need stealth. Yeah. Um. Well, so Grim Clarus, what do you want to do? I'd recommend that one of you stays here. I... Really? Do you think yeah. we, we don't. We don't need. All, we don't need the three of us to go and 
look for them. We're still, well, they're they're still like, looking for us in town. Yeah, they're still looking for us, and they don't know that we've taken out their leaders. They're going to put up a fight, That's no a matter point. what. It's it's just as dangerous as before, basically. The only thing is, when they try and turn us in, there's nobody to turn us into. Fair point. All right. So the three of us go to the mayor, then? Ah, oh, yeah, and V, you stay mm -hmm. here? It's fine by me. Yep. Okay. Right. Be careful out there. We'll meet you guys back here, then. Don't do anything stupid. You're talking to me. <laughs> um... I mean... Actually, now that I think about it, are you sure I couldn't swap places with you, Arya? Because I am kind of injured and would like to recover well, a bit. Can I cast... What? I'm you gonna cast Cure Wounds on Grim. No, oh, like, as he says that. So you literally have two healers right here. So. Yeah. Well, you're you're also. I'm not gonna cast kind of cure wounds people. on him yeah. if he says okay. that. Also, you have your second wind back. Oh, yeah, that's, that's true too. as well. I'm just gonna cast cure wounds okay. on you. There you go. Have some healing. <laughs> plus twelve. Well, I'll also use my second wind. Might as well. A nine plus nine. Oh, oh no, it's oh, nine okay. plus twelve. Yep, twenty one. Oh. Well, that's I'll pretty just, good. I'll just lay on hands myself for a bit of help. Yeah, you're a bit beaten up as well. Yeah, I'll be fine. You sure? Hold on. You slowly knit together that massive gash wound that uh, yeah. was opened up on you. Alright, okay. <laughs> right, let's head out then. Okay, we got okay. this. Stay safe, you two. Cool, so you guys are heading back to town then? Yo. Yeah. 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 Heading yeah. to town hall. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. <laughs> Town hall, here we come. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so. Doo -doo -doo. Yes. <laughs> head back to town. Yes, cut. As you arrive, uh, basically on the outskirts of town, uh, you draw the attention of several guards who are basically standing outside of the walls. Uh and they basically walk up to you and uh, say, uh, excuse me, sirs, madam, um, we've been asked to uh, bring you in for start to answer some questions. Uh, presumably under the orders of the mayor? Well, under the orders of the captain. Hmm. I think you want to ref you might want to involve the mayor on this one. We we do have something that we'd like to inform him. Regarding his family, that is. They look at you very, very confusedly. <laughs> uh, but they say, uh, if you wouldn't mind accompanying us. Very well. These are, oh, like, power-level people? Sorry, say again? Oh, I was sure. asking, these people look like the town guard. Yeah, they're just, them. they're the regular okay, guardsmen sorry. that you've seen. I just wanted to clarify yeah. that really quickly. Yeah. Uh, the only problem, uh, nah, we'll be fine. So do you guys go with them? Yeah. <laughs> cool. Yeah, you're, you're basically led to, uh... A building that's basically in the, roughly in the sort of the, the center of of the the town. You'd passed by it a couple of times. You hadn't really sort of paid any attention to what it actually was, um, but it seems to basically be some sort of uh, center for local government. Um, and basically, there is a like a, a guard house sort of in a a building off to one side. Uh, which you are basically uh, taken inside and uh, uh, placed into a sort of like a, a stone room, and they sort of uh, say, if, "If you wouldn't mind waiting here," uh, and close the door behind you, and you you sort of you hear them turn the key in the lock as they sort of like close the door, uh, and then there is basically some muffled conversation outside. Lovely. I feel like we're gonna have to take out some five talent, but let's hope we can. One thing the captain. you you haven't been disarmed. Yeah. Yeah. I mean. Yeah. Who knows? That's it. That's simply this thing. They're not. They're unaware of the situation. 
Yeah, I just hope we can convince yeah. the guard captain. I'm sure he <laughs> isn't actually just playing along with five talent because he likes them. Well, I mean, if that's the case. Well, based based on the actions of the guards that we have observed, they're not exactly fans of the five talent. That they're is just true. They could do about them. Mm. Due to the strength of the gang. Have faith, Kalaris. As you talk amongst yourselves, um, you hear a, uh, a a more gruff-sounding voice come from outside the door. Uh, then the conversation ceases, the door unlocks again, and into the room steps quite possibly the most burly-looking human female you have ever seen. Good. <laughs> Sweet. Um, uh, she's she's basically got sort of like a, not. Not quite a buzz cut, but very, very short cut, uh, dark hair, and a very, very, uh, very fierce-looking face. Um, and she says, um, "I'm sorry to drag you in like this. I am the guard captain. I understand you have something that requires the attention of the mayor." Uh, yes, we we recently investigated uh, the manor house. In our looks into the five tongue. She she squints at you and says, "Go on." Uh, upon arriving, we were compromised immediately due to a meeting of the five tongue leaders, which appeared to be happening within the house. Uh, after a after a tussle, the majority were killed. A few are injured but still alive. And, well, the mayor's wife and daughter were there. Who's As you mentioned the mayor's this. wife and daughter, the burly looking woman turns around, closes the door behind her, and locks it. Oh. From, from the inside. Oh. She's in there with you. Ah, oh, right. She's just like, <laughs> nope. <laughs> <Bye>. <laughs> she doesn't just like, I fuck off out of the I room. She, she yeah. locks the door in, with, with her inside. Okay. Okay. Um, and she says... If what you say is true, who are the five leaders? There was... <laughs> there was a pair of tieflings, uh, Morthos and Temerity. There was a... there was also a half-dragon present amongst them. There was a guy outside who we'd murdered like ages ago. <laughs> <laughs> I don't he know was apparently you... one of the leaders. And there's Creed. Uh... Uh, uh, like, where, where when we first arrived in the town? Yeah. Uh, you mean Shormar? Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah that, guy. that guy. Yeah. Uh, Shormar, we uh, Shormar had been uh, oh. dealt with before as we arrived in town. And, oh, was Creed. Creed yeah. was the last one. Uh, Creed. Yeah. And the half -elf. Creed was also. Uh, Creed is Creed and. Temerity are the two survivors. Well, captured, but yeah, alive. Mm. So basically, they're the zero talent gang right now. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> grim. <Yeah. laughs> Such a grim thing to say. Oh my god. Okay. The joke is completely thought. lost on the guard captain, but the guard captain sure looks at you and says, Where are you holding them? Uh, currently, they still reside in the manor house with two of our companions. And what of the mayor's family? They are safe. Perfectly alive. Also there. At the manor house. Hmm. With your blessing, I will send a, uh, a company to accompany them and, and ensure that your uh, story is correct. I'm just going to sort of bow my head. Just nod. Yeah. Uh, she very smartly unlocks the door, walks outside. Uh, at which point, I'd like you guys to give me a perception check uh, as something happens. Mm. Oh dear. Mm. Oh boy. Nice. Oh. Okay, as the door swings open, Vondal, you notice that somebody like seems to almost start to scurry away from the door. At hmm. which point, the guard captain grabs this man by the collar, 
pulls Shit. him backwards and knocks him down with a single punch to the jaw. Oh my god. <laughs> nice. Oh my god. I like this I like this person. Yep. Th this <laughs> this shit. This seems to react to a uh, seems to cause quite a reaction amongst the rest of the guard. Uh, at which point the the guard captain reaches inside the man's guard uniform, removes a five talon emblem and set and basically says uh uh no longer will we bow to these uh uh these tyrants and basically like throws the um the the five talent emblem basically like out uh, like uh, out across the room brilliant uh and this seems to meet with a cup more than a couple of cheers nice yes um and yeah the the, the she basically leaves the door open um and uh, uh, but starts issuing orders to various groups of, of guardsmen and says, you collect some, go here, do this. Uh, and it very quickly becomes sort of like a bustle of uh, guard action. Uh, what do you folks want to do? I'm just going to go, uh, very impressive, Captain, as if trying to ask a name. <laughs> I I assume wait, will you inform the mayor or or shall we do it ourselves? Um uh, the 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 woman turns to you and says um uh I I am I am Eno, Captain Eno Dunwarren. Which is a name you've heard before. Have we? Yes. Joseph Dunwarren was the one-armed woodcutter in the oh, tavern. Oh shit! Well, uh, yeah, and uh, Eno basically says um, uh, the mayor is basically in the building uh, across the street, but he will be accompanied by his handlers. Um, you're welcome to accompany with me dealing with them. I was going to go and deal with them myself. Uh, well, I, I guess, I guess having us as backup. Uh, wouldn't be a bad idea. Just as you wish. Uh, and she walks up to the weapons rack and pulls a giant maul out of the weapons rack. Good. Good. I love God. this person already. I love her so She's much. She's fucking awesome. Yeah. God. That's a weapon that makes Vondal's Warhammer seem pitiful. But it, um, it, it's sort of... It's... A, it's... it's it's, it's one. It's an up. It's a. It's one upgrade higher. Yeah. It, it's it's longer and like the the handle is sort of like thicker than your your warhammers, and it's basically instead of being a hammer head, it's just got a massive ball on the end of it. It's a big block. Like a big big spiky block. Um. <laughs> uh. And yes. And with that, she basically leads you out into the courtyard. I'm assuming you're all sort of following. Um. Yeah. And yeah, she basically says, uh, "I advise you draw your weapons. There will be uh, there will be two handlers, and they usually stand uh, basically at either end of the the room." All right, I'm just gonna get my warhammer out then. Cool. Nope. Um. Mm. Uh, you know what? I'm I'm just gonna say because this I I, I don't want to drag this combat out too long. Give me. Stealth checks, and then uh, if you get if you get higher than fourteen on your stealth check, you can roll me an attack roll with advantage. If you get lower than fourteen, you just get a normal attack roll. Okay. 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 We should have had. Oh, they all nope. have disadvantage. Oh, yes, we, no! we all have disadvantage. <laughs> Fuck. Okay. None of us oh, manage. Glorious. It. None of you manage it. That's fine. <sighs> we uh, have the advantage. Guys. Yeah. Basically, um, what happens? is the guard captain basically walks up to the door to the mayor's office, uh, knocks politely, and they say, hold on one moment, uh, at which point you hear the footsteps come close towards the door, at which point uh, Eno basically kicks the door inwards, sending one man sure. sprawling backwards. Good. Another man comes around the corner with a sword swing and misses. Uh, at which point Eno proceeds to swing at him with the maul. Uh, and yeah, at this point, make your guys' attacks. Oh, yep. That's a hit. 
Uh, Wait, why do I only have a plus five? Oh no, that's not that is right. Never mind. Uh, everyone, yeah, but uh, except Grim, that's a hit. Cool. So we roll some damage. Uh, if you have multi attack, you can use multi attack as well. Oh, sweet. Oh, I don't. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, yeah, that's awesome. Miss. Oh my god, fuck oh, that. Is another miss. Wow. Okay. okay, just roll, me, just roll me some damage then. Okay. Nice. Not a ten. Oh. I either way, um, basically, you make short order of the two uh, the two men who draw weapons on you, uh, leaving basically a very scared looking mayor uh, hiding behind his desk. Um, and he he basically says, "You know what? The, what on earth are you doing?" Uh, and she says, "You do not need to worry about the five talent any longer. These good people have rid us of their leaders." And he says, says uh, what, "What about my wife?" They're safe. They're safe back at the manor house, Mr. Mayor. Uh, he looks at you sort of like utterly bewilderedly before sort of regaining his composure and saying, oh, look, I, 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 I must thank you. Uh, and he, he walks up to you, Von Dahl, and sort of begins to sort of like, he, like he takes your hands and starts to shake it and sort of says, uh, my, my, my name is, is Jero Augusto. Um, I, I, I cannot thank you, thank you enough. It's, there's no need for thanks, Mr. Mayor. But 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 there is. We we we've we've been under the yoke of these these scoundrels for for months. Well, it's it's kind of what we do, <laughs> and it's not entirely over yet. Still have to get rid of all the lower rankings. He sort of says, uh, do, "Do you do you have a plan for this?" Uh, at which point, Eno says, "Sort of, it is being taken care of, Mister Mayor." Yeah, the, the only big thing that remains is we have to go to the asylum, and that's I think that's about it. Uh, yeah, uh, which, uh, when you mention the asylum, the mayor basically uh, looks uh, kind of worried, looking, and says, "Ah, yes." Uh, and give me just a second. Bring something up. Uh, yes. Uh, I heard that their um, the five town were using it as a as a a prison for anyone who defied them. Um, the um, the reports from from what I heard of what happened to some people that were sent there is. Worrying. What do you mean by that? Well, I don't want to 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 put any any stock in superstition, but uh, anyone who's sort of sent there has either not returned or hasn't quite been themselves when they come back. Yeah, that's kind of what we were afraid of. It was, it was, it was closed down. You see, the, the old asylum. It, it, there was a, a, a an incident, a, a, a riot by by some of the inmates, and terrible, terrible things happened. And as well, there's a lot of of, of rumor about exactly what happened. And I th I think that's why the 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 place has been abandoned for so long, and nobody's sort of taken it up. Is it's just a horrible, horrible place. But um. Some of the things I've heard made me think that maybe some of them might be true, that it really does drive people mad. Hmm. If, if you're going there, please do do be careful. Eh, don't worry, we we will be careful. I hope. <laughs> I mean, as careful as we ever are, which, you know, varying degrees. <laughs> Depends on our mood. He sort of nods and agrees to that. Oh well. But there is there is no need to worry anymore, Mayor Augusta. The situation is under control. He he sort of um after he says uh, yes sorry um who are you exactly? 
<laughs> At which point, Von Nolis just jolted like, hmm, that's a very good point. And he's going to, um, he's going to do a half bow and say, um, Von Dahl, Iron, Iron Fist, Marshal to the Order of the Golden Lion. Yeah. Cargrim Damaris, leader of the um, Amber <laughs> Eagle. Kalar Spacerge, just a traveler. He certainly seems interested by the, the, the names and titles that you've given. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, uh, basically with that sort of... Uh, uh, the the captain sort of offers to sort of like lead you to wherever it is that you sort of want to go for now. But basically... There's going to sort of be a clean-up operation in which you can either help with, or you can sort of get on your way, or do your own thing. Um, I definitely want to help with this clean-up operation. I yeah. feel yeah. like we should like just uh, hurry towards the asylum. We're waiting here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's um, not a good I think idea. You can always come back is. after dealing with the asylum to yeah. help with clean-up operation. Well, what we want to do is we want yeah. to regroup, we want to check out Temerity's shop, and then we want to go to the asylum. Correct. Um, do we want to? Well, we might as well stop by the shop uh, whilst we're here anyway. Like, well, we I assume. Want to look as well. I assume we're just gonna take whatever is useful for anyone. Although we, although we still have the moral implications of it being stolen. Mm, exactly. Yeah, it's awful. Yeah, anyone not owned anymore? Because she, well, she's still alive. Because <laughs> we killed her. <laughs> <laughs> No, we oh, should be still alive. No, we should we should regroup with our companions. Yeah. And don't and we have to cross the town anyway to get to the asylum? Or um Yeah, basically. Yeah. Okay, no, so okay. we may as well really bring matter. them back with us. Okay. Well, let's hope that okay. uh, they've got any had any luck with the prisoners. Yeah, let's regroup with the companions first. Cool. So in this this meantime, whilst they've been doing things in the town, it's basically been uh, maybe maybe an hour, an hour and fifteen minutes before anybody sort of shows up to uh, speak with you guys. At which point, you folks who are still in the manor are still in the manor. What exactly do you do whilst you're here in the manor? Yeah. Uh, or would you just sort of keep guard? Yeah, I, I guess I just sort of yeah, just stay around the two unconscious ladies and just be like, yeah. <laughs> okay, uh, in <laughs> idle chat with Arya. <laughs> in in that case, nothing of significance happens. Uh, we can and... use our telepathic speak. What's telepathic? We just look at each other. We just look at each other's eyes. You, you look at each other's eyes and understand what the other is thinking. It's not telepathy. You ste you have a staring contest. <laughs> but also a conversation at the same time. Um, but yeah, basically, uh, give me perception checks as you're sort of sitting there having a conversation. Yeah, you, yes. you, both, you both sort of hear the sound of... of uh, running feet, basically, like, coming up the gravel path towards you. Uh, you sort of spring to your feet, you go to the front door to check, and you see basically a bunch of city guard coming in. Um, uh, they they all seem to have uh, weapons drawn, but one of them basically spots uh, uh, the, the two of you sort of, like, looking out through the front door at them. Uh, and they sort of they, they sort of like half wave to you, which you think is kind of weird if they were coming to sort of like fight you. Yeah, um, I, I, I wave at them. <laughs> okay, you, you you wave back, and they uh, they basically approach, and they they they're immediately full of questions sort of like, is the area secure? Where are the prisoners? Uh, where where are the hostages? Where are the dead bodies? <laughs> the, the dead bodies are fairly obvious because you haven't moved them. They're sort of yeah. like in the doorway and in the hall. And <laughs> yeah, still plenty of dead bodies. Still bleeding to, like, onto the antique floorboards. Them. It's not pretty. Somebody should do yeah. something about that, really. Yeah. <laughs> you were too, too, too busy having a chat. Uh, I thought about being silly about it, but then I'm like, I'm not a fucking cleanup crew. Yeah, <laughs> yeah not wrong. I was just more worried about looking. Looking at the, the two people that are still alive. 
Yeah. I, also, I would I would argue that we are a clean up crew. I mean, we cleaned up this five talent mess, didn't we? Wow. <laughs> without fur yeah. without further ado, the area is secured and locked down. A messenger is sent back, and not a few, not maybe twenty minutes later, the other three arrive again. Hey guys, how'd it go? I assume you talked to the mayor because those guards came by a little while ago. We we were initially brought to see the guard captain. The guards were very interested in uh, the guard captain. Apparently, wanted to have a word with us. So, at the outskirts of town, we were led to the area. We informed the guard captain of what happened. We just, and we went with the guard captain as she informed the mayor. Awesome. Oh, yeah. Now what? Well, we've got our usual plan. There's uh, there's obviously a clean-up operation going on throughout town. Obviously, you know, the last bits of Five Town and Resistance being mopped up. And, of course, we want to have a look at Temerity's Corner. And there's still the asylum, and there's still these two. All right. Yeah. With, uh, with you, uh, the captain is uh, Captain Ina is still sort of there with you. Um, oh. And she, uh, upon basically seeing that you have like uh, temerity and creed, uh, she sort of looks at them and says, "Ah, these two have given me enough trouble in my time." Yeah. Well. Just be careful with their, well, at least with the magical capabilities. Yeah. Yeah. Temerity herself may be particularly tricksy. Yeah. Uh, yeah, at, at this point she turns to Von Dahl and sort of says, what would you do with them? They, they are almost certainly holders of pretty important information. Um, I would almost certainly have them sort of locked up, questioned, see what we can figure out about their operations and what needs to, what needs to be dealt with. Yeah, she... Temerity, oh, actually I was going to also add, um, Temerity as well, her shop is going to need investigating. There's reason to believe a lot of what she was sold was stolen goods. Oh, Raided, no doubt, from the travelers. We should probably also mention there was a list uh, in the shop. Oh, um, yeah. Ah, yes. Mm. A list of code words. And, well, in safe locations, and yeah. at least oh, there, yes. you guys know more about it than I need uh, to we add do. one to that. Yeah. Oh boy, does the asylum have one? It has. Probably. Yeah, I was gonna you sort of, it more. Uh, you, you go to hand it over when you notice that uh, basically like a there's a small uh, sort of a ribbon poking out of it that you didn't really notice before. It's sort of like you know like when you have a diary and you have a page marker there's one with a ribbon in it. And as you sort of like, you open it to the page where the ribbon is and you uh, uh, you, you open it to the page that the the ribbon is in and you note that in the bottom corner there is actually one that says uh, asylum to which the code word is callisto which i can add to your code word sheet in your journal okay callisto uh, mm -hmm. well i guess wait so we're already in the shop then no, we're not. No. <laughs> v no, took, well, so v took it with because her. We... Yeah, because I, did, I didn't think we oh, took Oh, she had it with her. No, I, think oh, yeah, had yeah. I was so confused by that for a second. But yeah, yeah. same. Yeah, v, v took the book when they left. Uh... It was the black book on the bedside table. Ah, okay. Fair enough. I could actually, yeah, I can make it available to all of you. All of you. Well, oh. it's late in the evening, right? So maybe we go to to Meredith's shop uh, today. Yeah, it's starting to go towards night. Yeah. We can mm. Maybe still check to Meredith's shop today, and then go to the asylum tomorrow. And we yeah. can use it as a place to sleep. I assume it's a nice place. <laughs> Let's uh, not sleep there. I mean, Let's not do that. It's it's a perfectly habitable location. Yeah, I'd, I'd rather. And I don't want to bother the. 
the innkeeper. Well, I mean, we literally just freed the town from a corrupt gang rule. I feel like yeah, they'll but... be okay with us now. Uh, I ended to say that basically, um, uh, the the town is basically in order to sort of maintain, uh, like to, to sort of control the gang as much as possible. They're basically they're putting a there's there's putting a curfew in place and sort of raiding places as they go to sort of try and catch them unawares but avoid the citizens getting mixed up in it. Uh, so if you do go, sort of be careful, be aware of that. Uh, okay. But yeah, it, it is starting to get dark. Yeah. Hmm. Well, well, I want to help. So... I, would, I would like quite like to help the, the guard. Um, well, personally. <laughs> Yeah, well, you need to sleep, dude. So, are we <laughs> gonna? So, do you guys want to go back to the inn then, or? I prefer to go to the inn. Also, we paid for our rooms, or we are going to pay for our rooms. So. Mm, I guess that's true. And we can offer an apology for the rushing in and out. <laughs> mm. yeah, you can mm. explain that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we certainly can. I feel like you'll be all right, Wizards, if after we've we've explained it. Okay. Okay. Cool. So, where are you headed first? To the shop, right? To the shop. Yeah. I believe. Yep. Yeah. Cool. Okay. <laughs> Temerity's corner. You are over Temerity's corner. Uh. You notice that several of the nearby, like the several of the establishments on the way there, are sort of in the process of being raided, and like occasionally there are just sort of people being arrested and stuff going on. Um, so the guard is more numerous than anticipated. Well, the guard presence was uh, as much as you would expect, but Fair. they just uh, weren't able to operate. They were shackled, properly. basically. Yeah. Now they're all free to do what the fuck they want. Good. Yeah. They, uh, well, to well, slightly well. to Vondal's disapproval and to Kalaris' approval, they are being. You do notice occasionally that some of them are being kind of brutal about it. Like mm. the the five talent members, they're sort of like they've got them sort of like tied up, and they like they clearly aren't like armed or anything. And it's like they occasionally just sort of like receive kicks to the ribs and things from guardsmen, which Vondal you sort of. You're sort of like that's that's you know that's no way to treat a prisoner and Kalaris, you're just sort of like fucking deserve that. <laughs> fuck yeah, these I mean, guys. Fuck these guys, they deserve that shit. He tries yeah. to divide us again, Ferris. It's not what you're trying to do. I'm <laughs> merely stating the difference in your alignment. It's a point. <laughs> but yes, you arrive at Temerity's Corner basically without incidents. Nobody tries to stop you. Awesome. Sweet. I guess we can start oh. through the front door since we have the code. Well, code word. Yeah. Oh, uh, shit. Misdemeanor. Oh yeah. Misdemeanor. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mis <coughs> uh, yeah. Uh, you you speak the code word at the front door, and you notice a basically a small blue light runs around the outside <coughs> of the door and disappears. Okay. Right. Let's okay. get in there. Cool. You open Wait. the door. It's exactly the same as you left it. <laughs> Mm. Except now we can all have a look around and a more thorough look around at that. Excuse? Yeah, we just, well, yeah, I was like, yeah, there was, isn't that? anything else to find, really. Oh, there you go. <laughs> well, then let's get the stolen items together and see if we can return some. You mean the entire room at the back of the shop filled with stolen goods? Yes. <laughs> it's For a sure. lot of shit to carry. Yeah. The problem I is. Yeah, I know, I know. That's gonna be very silly. You you might want to leave that for, to somebody a little better better equipped yeah. to deal with that. Well, and we've then... got rid of the we've got rid of the barrier on the door, so no one's gonna accidentally run into it and like die oh. or whatever. And then there's the fact that like most of these are probably from travelers. Yeah, they're probably. And I don't know how many of those are gonna be around still. Or you know, sane potentially. That's yeah. the other problem. That's a fair point. I feel like. Well, even though it's 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 hard <laughs> making decisions, but I do I do still remember that there were those arrows that we could use, but 
yes, there are a handful of plus two arrows, a potion, and a spell scroll, but morally whether you want to take them mm. is your question. No. <laughs> Grim's like, sure. <laughs> keep, keep, no. Well, no. I, I kind of I kind of want to, the the thing is I kind of wanted to go back to buy like two arrows or like an arrow just so we had one. But like by that time we were kind of like caught up in the whole thing. But now I can't pay for it. Because no one owns the shop. You could leave some money behind for the guards, because they're going to pick it up otherwise. Yeah. But it's not my decision anyway. I mean, the thing is, what are they going to do with it? If yeah. if it stays here, they'll take it. And it might sit... Look, it might get used, but it also might just sit. So, at least we know that we could probably put a use to a lot of the stuff here. It's like, I, we still can't just we, take it. Like, like we... We can at least take like some of the arrows for the asylum, and then we can always bring them back if we decide that that we like might not need them after all, and don't want to. We, we just take them for a test run. No, you want a to borrow run. them. Are there any more healing potions in here? Look, nobody's gonna I miss them. I th we um, shouldn't be taking this. There's there's like maybe one or two lesser healing potions lying around. I mean, fuck it, let's take those. No, I'll just let's, no. turn around. No. Well, I'll just look the other way. Save no. one of our lives. At the very least, let's take the healing potions. Mm. This is, you don't this is... know when they might come in handy. It might save one of us. I'd still rather not be taking all, all of this. We're not taking all of it. We're taking healing potions for the moment. Correct. All right, then, correction. I'd rather we didn't take any of it. Here's, like, <laughs> it's not as ours. Much, as much as I agree with the fact that it's not ours, there's also how do you, how would you ever return any of this stuff? Well, healing potions can be useful to anyone. You're not yeah, helping. That's, that's <laughs> not, like, <laughs> I'm neutral good. I'm I love I know. chaotic whatever I fucking please. Yep. I know. But I'm chaotic good, so I'm like, fine with this. They can be useful to anyone, <laughs> but we we're certain they're useful to us. They will they might help us like uh, like not even die. more for this city right now in the like in the asylum, and perhaps we can like ask them. Like, if you really want to, we can ask the mayor or the or the guard captain if we could like keep some of the stuff as a reward. Because like, it's not like we're gonna be able to return it to their rightful owners. Yeah, you could ask instead of a reward. Can we keep some of this loot? That's a good idea. All right, but we we take we take it after we ask permission. Can we take it to them to ask permission? <laughs> we don't have to come back here. That's a good <laughs> idea. Because if they say no, all we do is leave it with them. Yeah. It... All right, fine. Same function. Yeah. Fine, but we're asking permission to take it. Cool. What are you taking? Uh... We may as well take everything with us. Like we, can <laughs> we can't take everything with us. We just established that. No, no, well, no, no, no. Like, you can okay, take you can take but... the items that you thought you found that you thought might be useful previously. Yeah. yeah. That's the, what the unidentifiable fifth level spell scroll, the potion, yeah. the. Animals. Oh yeah, I'll take that. <laughs> uh, Suddenly, he's on board with this. Yeah. Look, I can I can spend like a rest uh, looking at it. So yeah. yeah. There's, I don't actually there's... know what it is. But I've remembered take... actually that I said last time that you can't benefit from a long rest this time because of what you did last time. So, uh, but... V's gonna have a pretty sleepless night. <laughs> it's fun. Uh... Um, do you want to take all seven ar arrows, Arya? Uh, sure. Hey. I hate the fact that you can only take one long rest per day. Makes no sense. Can we take oh. a short rest though? Well, you guys can take a long rest. It's only V. You guys can take, take a long, long rest. rest. I can't because I already took one. Yeah, same. Um, what? No, you and didn't. I, I... You didn't take a long rest. You were just summoning Lyra. Oh no, right. that was that was last time. Oh fuck. Well, I don't remember. Yeah, whatever. yeah, because we just like chilled for like eight hours. I remember. Yeah, you went asleep. You were unconscious. No, because you were beaten into a bloody. That's pulp. no. no that's no. a completely different. No, was that also wrong? That's uh, also wrong. TLDR: Only V took a took a long rest. Yeah. Oh okay. Um, well, fuck you then. Well, I, I guess I'll take the strength potion. It's okay, it's just... guys. It's not like I only have first level spell slots anymore, so if you want my magic tomorrow, you're not getting any. 
It's a shame you, it's a shame you can't cast sleep on yourself and have a nice, nice rest. I don't think that For works like that. Minute. I know, that's what I'm saying. She can't cast sleep on herself anyway, it doesn't work. Oh, oh yeah. Rip. Well. Wait, hasn't there been a day in between already? Nope. 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 Because we had the, the feast long rest, then I, we had I, the fight. I've been tracking had... it. No, is the answer. Oh. Yeah, Ferris oh, has well. been track of that shit because it's his job. Oh well. well um, thank you. I... I'll take I'll take the fifth level scroll, whatever the hell yep. it is. The unidentified fifth level spell scroll. Yes. Uh... Arya, I assume t you take the arrows. Mm. Yeah. So you have seven. Uh, was it seven? Yeah. Yeah. yeah seven seven arrows. plus two arrows. How do I use those? Uh, you basically tell me that you're using one and you add plus two to your uh, dice roll. Okay. And both uh, and to your damage. attack and damage. Yeah, to your attack and damage. And gotcha. they're magical, wow. so you can shoot them at ghosts. <laughs> oh, nice. Or, or are they not magical? Uh, they are magical, yes, so they will... That's exciting. Yeah, they're awesome. magical plus two. That's cool. Nice. So Arya can actually do something against magic I know. now, other than just <laughs> cast Hail of Thorns. I, I will double check if they are magical. Just I'm pretty sure they were, but, but I think yeah, you they said they're magical plus two arrows. Um... Oh yeah, we had to magically identify them, so I guess yeah. that makes sense. We had to magically identify them as magical plus two arrows. Yeah. Well, I guess I'll, I'll just grab the potion of stone giant strength. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and I'll just grab the healing two, was it lesser ones he said? Uh, yeah, two lesser healing potions. Two lesser mm -hmm. healing potions, potion of, of stone giant strength, unidentified spell scroll, two healing potions. No, I already said two healing potions. Arrows. Yeah. Was the <laughs> Last one. We get two. Uh, okay, so two healings. Mm -hmm. Magical arrows. Just make Ammunition sure you don't plus. shoot them while we're retreating, because you might not get them back. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, it, it, it is magical until it hits a target, basically. Um, so if you miss with them, they retain their magical properties, but once you hit, they lose their magical properties. Oh, shit. Yeah. So oh, you can really that's bullshit. Really you can bullshit. only hit with them once. That's bullshit. And they yeah. also lose their plus on two? Yeah, they, add, they add plus two to hit and to damage. Yeah, but, like, yeah, but if, if, you, you... if you hit something with them, does those plus two go away? Yes. Oh, fuck. So, so, like, once, once okay, I'm hit, glad we never paid for those. Like... Yeah, I'm glad yeah. we never paid yeah. for those. Magical arrows are ass. <laughs> no, they're <laughs> they very were. good. Well, they're, they're good up until they only have one use, though. Anyway. Oh, bullshit. <laughs> Might save our lives, though. The only thing in Dungeons and Dragons that has I mean, I don't the make the rules. enchantment system. I don't make the rules. You kind right. of do make the rules, but. Yeah. No, I, I merely adjudicate the rules. <laughs> Whatever. Wow. Yes, okay. if, we gather, if we gather soul gems, can we restore. <laughs> oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> 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 Uh, if you if you soul gather gem soul gem. gems, I will force you to change your alignment. Oh, <laughs> oh well, but I I guess we right. found everything. We're just gonna go to the we're gonna go to the mayor or the guard captain. That's the part. I guess uh, the mayor. I like the guard captain honestly. I can uh, respect. Her. Yeah, I think I think, I think the mayor has more of a say in this sort of stuff though. Like, on one hand, it's like the mayor has more of a say, but it's like kind of the guard captain's territory. Not really, it's a shop. Well, she, well, I mean, she's probably is... in charge of seized goods. Yeah, and evidence. Fine. Yeah. But uh, either way, it would work, probably. Yeah, I mean, I don't think it is terribly awesome. Okay. Cool, you go find the guard captain. She's fairly easy to find. She's the one standing in the middle of everybody else yelling at people. <laughs> yeah. she should yes! Be. <laughs> um... She looks at you. <laughs> but got that one. Uh, don't laugh at me. Uh, um, yeah, we were um, we were looking at uh, Temerity's old shop, and we were wondering if we could uh, 
take some of these items as they would be very useful to us. Give me a persuasion check. We could pay you wink wink, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Just wink aggressively at her. Oh shit. Ooh. I have nice. plus five to persuasion. I'm very mm -hmm. cute. <laughs> you do puppy dog eyes. Puppy eyed at her. Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. She, uh, she basically looks at looks at the items. Uh, says, uh, I tell you what, give me the book of codes that you have, and I'll let you take them. Awesome. Uh, <laughs> cool. That's done deal. The word for um, for the for the asylum is Callisto. It is Callisto. Know. Yes. Yeah, we don't need it anymore. Yeah, it's not like this You're is useful okay. to us. So, yeah, oh. we found what you You give her the code book, and she says you can keep the items. Yay! Yay. Nice. Nice. Nailed it. Uh, well. Do we wanna. Does somebody else wanna take the healing potions, or like one of them? Or does everybody have. I don't have a healing potion, oh. so I would be fine. Oh, wait, I do have a healing potion. Yeah, you do. Everyone do. does. Oh, okay, well, never mind then. I mean, I don't, because I, I have guess... magic. Yeah, but it's it's more of an emergency situation. Yeah, people who don't have natural healing abilities should take the healing potions. I guess I have Even if I you don't. Have a greater healing, so Even I don't have do. a regular for like semi safe situations. Oh okay. yeah. Well, people who don't like people the paladin and the cleric of the party should not really be taking healing potions because we can heal without healing potions. Unless unless I we run out of spell slots. How about yeah. distribute it so that everybody has at least one health potion just in case? But we already no, do! No, then I Vandal. don't. Well, not all of us. Uh, well, fine. then Vandal takes it. Alright, I take yeah. one. Yeah, and I will take the other one because I don't have a healing potion. Cool. Actually. Fair enough. You have one healing also, potion. Also, I have been called for food. Okay, we will take oh, a brief okay. break there. Okay. <laughs>